We know that within the next 20 years, there's going to be at least 2 billion more people on the planet. We believe that there's a lot of possibilities to help the rural poor in Latin America and all parts of the world help themselves. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. We are coming up with something completely different, completely unconventional, completely unorthodox. Everything that we're trying to do encompasses developing a community in a very different manner, making it sustainable, but making it happier as well. To me, the most passionate moments are when customers see value in what we create. Sustainable means reaching a solution that will last over time and that people will actually always want. Gracias. We're passionate about creating technologies and creating platforms that help people uh, promote their own development. Setiap rumah, setiap orang itu memproduksi sampah. Kami mengubah persepsi masyarakat, mengubah kebiasaan masyarakat terhadap sampah. I think this is what I've wanted to do ever since I was six years old. You know, that first visit to India when I realized that these inequities in the world exist. I think it, it's incredibly fulfilling to know that we're doing something about it. There's no city in India with continuous water. It's called intermittent water supply. The problem that this creates is that people have to store water, and without knowing when water will come on next, they don't know how much water to store and when they can throw away the old water. NextDrop has created a platform to let governments communicate with citizens. And what we do is we send a text message to people 60 minutes before water comes to their homes. So now instead of waiting for the water, they can do other things such as going to work so you don't have to miss work or you know, spending more time with their kids. Banyak masyarakat di Indonesia, dia tidak mendapatkan akses kesehatan karena penghalang finansial. Klinik Asuransi Sampah adalah sebuah asuransi mikro di mana masyarakat cukup menyerahkan sampahnya kepada kami dan mereka bisa mendapatkan fasilitas pengobatan secara gratis. Kelas suwun, koran beri pengobatan neka, meglari, ano ta, ano pa apa, mereka mengano sampah mas, dila, jadi suwun pula. The poorest population of Peru don't have any infrastructure for water and, and sanitation. So they have to use pit latrines and live surrounded by danger and diseases. We've designed a portable dry toilet that you can put wherever you want in your home. And you only pay a monthly fee for us to collect the insides of the toilet. There are many households who, through this toilet, have become more aware of the importance of disinfecting, cleaning. No hay mosca, no hay nada, no hay olor. Estoy muy contenta, estoy muy alegre sí, por el baño que tengo. Not having electricity is a great problem around the world, and not having energy access limits you from a lot of economic opportunities. You also have a lot of impact in, in health, in even gender equity. So. Definitely the communities that live without energy live in, in high poverty conditions. Ilumigo tackles energy poverty by creating uh, safe, reliable, affordable and efficient energy solutions for rural communities based on solar technology, uh, long-term maintenance and distribution to the last mile customers. Antes no podían hacer su tarea porque tenían la velita ahí y les corría y ahorita aún sin embargo con la luz pueden estar en la mesa o en la cama haciendo tarea y contentos. The high cost of feeds is the greatest problem small order farmers face. But if you can crush the price of feeds by half, then you can actually improve their production by at least 50%. And that's a lot of money for the smallholder farmer. That's a lot of money for the family. That's a lot of food for the community. Mango juice companies discard the seeds as waste. 
And then we use those kennels for the feeds. These are pregnant pigs. Let's make farming a whole new passionate and something exciting for farmers to do and also for young people to do. Most farmers in Guatemala farm two crops and then six months of a dry season in which nothing is produced. Our big hope at Simeon Nueva is pigeon pea. Pigeon pea can grow in between the rows of farmers' existing crops. Pigeon pea has this amazing potential to rebuild soils, to increase incomes, and to fight malnutrition. Pigeon pea is highly nutritious, which is incredibly important because Guatemala is the fourth most malnourished country in the world. If we can help farmers grow their own high nutrient, high protein food, we can help them solve their own problem. Nepal has a population that is highly illiterate. So what we wanted to do is give us solution, quality education locally provided. My Universe Academy is the first ever free education institution in Nepal. Our model is totally free education, no matter what economic condition you are in. Good. In exchange for two days of labor per month. So we just thought, why not ask parents to give us that labor they would give someone else as money that they would give for their children's education. Good we're trying to give back to those people that never had. We're trying to give them an alternative. It's much easier to take a three minute pitch and expand it. We're very excited about the mentoring and the, the networks that it opens by winning this competition. It's better if you stand still. And there's no way that we'd get this kind of access if it wasn't for programs like this. The education and of course the finances we're getting from the program is going to really, really, really impact on our project. Having other opinions, having fellow entrepreneurs in the same room is always enriching. If we can get expert advice, that would be super, super helpful. We've created a product that improves people's lives from the day that we deliver it. We actually have a partnership with every utility we work on. Today, I bring you good news. I mean, the caliber of pitches, like, it's crazy. I am not envying the judges. Which have high quality lighting. And really coming here and seeing people from different parts of the world, this has been fabulous. In here, there is a lot of good people. They just, they just don't care about the money. They care about others. They care about how to help people. This is our community. These are the other people who think like we do, who act like we do, and um, that's priceless.